All right, so there's a, there's a few different types of scales out there. At pretty much every popular truck stop, Love's TA, Flying J, Pilot, and Petro, you're going to see cat scales. And uh, so pretty much to get onto the cat scale, yeah, just, well, you, 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 you drive on. Now, uh, it's not going to show you the scale or, or your scales or anything. But it will, so you're going to have to push a little button on this reader board here. And wait for a uh, sorry an intercom and somebody will answer asking you first way or reway and you're gonna say first way and then you're gonna drive off and you're gonna have to park and you have to go into you're gonna have to go inside get in line and then say that you just scaled to ask your company number the trailer number and then you're gonna have to pay and then finally they'll give you your ticket to see how much everything costs and then you're good to go presuming your weights are good R does the easy way uh, if you get the if you get the cat scale app much easier yep you hop onto the scale you enter in your information on the app and you wait for uh, a response and you go it only takes like a I don't know not even a minute like 30 seconds anyway I have an entire video on that as well but anyway that is pretty much the, that's the way you're going to be scaling most of the time so now as you can see, once you get your weights, all right, we're not gonna have any more than 12,000 pound on the steers, no more than 34,000 pound on the drives, and no more than 34,000 pound on the trailer. Depending on your axles, obviously, but mostly since you are starting off in this industry, this is the typical truck that you are gonna be driving. 80,000 pounds max gross weight. All right, next one is pretty much gonna be at a customer. So when you drive onto a scale, all right sometimes a lot of the time it'll just be a big big scale where it'll just weigh everything so first of all you're going to get your first weigh which is going to be 12,000 well on this particular truck it's going to be 12,000 uh, pound and then you're going to uh, have 46,000 pound which is the steers and the drives combined and then you're going to get the gross weight so and now we have we this gives us three different weights all right we gives us our steers 46,000 pounds which is the steers and the drives and then 80,000 pounds which is the gross which is the steers the drives and the trailer so now we're going to do a little uh, math simple math it, but it's just this is just how you how, how you can get it now obviously we're not going to be able to get our steers pardon me we're not going to be able to get our drives independently so all you have to do is a simple calculation so we already have the six the 40 60 blah blah blah, blah. so we already have the 46,000 pound all we have to do is take away whatever the steers are and that will give us what our drives are so steers and drives minus steers equals 34,000 pound Okay, and then all we have to do is take this 46,000 pound away from 80,000 pound, which is the entire trailer, and that's going to give us 34,000 pound. All right, now what I like to do, all right, is uh, once I once once I drive onto it, all right, it's pretty much going to be it's going to be roughly around 12,000 pound. I want I want to make sure if it's 12,000 pound, I want to make sure my next weight, which will be the drives and the steers not to be more than 46,000 pound. All right, now that it's 46,000 pound, I'm okay. I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not worried right now. Now, I have my gross, okay, I have my gross. Then I drive off the scale, and it's 34,000 pound. Well, of course, sometimes you might not be able to read the reader board, so you may have to get out and actually check that, but that's the simplest way to do it. You get your first way. Now, if this is 11,000 pound, all right, make sure that you, your next way is not over 45,000 pound. I'm just giving you like this is a, a general all right so if it's 12,000 pound all right 46,000 pound would be the max all right and then you pretty much just have a quick little look to make sure that you're not gross overweight and then you drive off completely and you got 34,000 pound left on the trailer this only takes less than 20 seconds all right so you drive on here make sure you're not overweight you got your gross you know a lot of times you don't even have to stop but this is something you'll do after a while, after after you've uh, scaled a few times, but just so you're not confused or anything, right? Now, uh, now the most common scale that you're going to get is a tiny little scale. 
This couldn't be simpler. This is my favorite scale. All right, 12,000 pound, you roll off of it. 34,000 pound, you roll off of it. 34,000 pound, you roll off of it, and you are out of here. So, just as a, remember now, right? Because 12,000 pound, 34,000 pound, and 34,000 pound, that equals 80,000 pound. All right? Now, if this is 35,000 pound, I know I'm in trouble already. All right? Now, if this is is 13,000 pound, I'm in trouble already. I, I know I'm going to have to do something, so I'll be a little... Uh, so right now, because it's 12,000 pound, not worried. 34,000 pound, not worried. And 34,000 pound, I'm not worried. Okay? So that's pretty much it. All right? Because if it... If it's over 34,000 pounds, well, I know that I'm over gross now. Now, if this is 33,000 pounds, and this is 35,000 pounds, well, I'm still 80,000 pounds. Now you're going to have to do, now you're going to have to pull over and do some, do some math, and we're going to have to slide some axles back and forth to adjust. All right, but that's a different video. Anyway, these are just the different types of scales. We have our cat scale. We have our shipping scale, where we get our gross, and we got to do a little bit of calculations. And, of course, we have the quick way of doing it. Well, for me. And a lot of people, too. But this is what I do. And, of course, we have our small scale. All right. That is all for this particular topic.